When I first started in this space, I was in the Australian Federal Police and I'd set up the Australian High Tech Crime Centre. If I went to a barbecue and I told people that I investigated cyber crimes and tried to stop them, the vast bulk of people uh, hadn't ever suffered a crime, they hadn't been approached by criminals and they really didn't know why we were doing it. If you fast forward to 2021, the vast bulk of Australians uh, have probably had a scammer contact them this week, whether it's an automated telephone call saying that they have a, an outstanding debt with the tax office or that they have, uh, or that they've been detected doing bad things on the internet. They've probably had what are known as phishing emails sent to them that are trying to steal their credentials. And they may well have suffered identity theft uh, or some other type of fraud. Uh, and so it's very real. And the vast bulk of Australians now actually are starting to understand this. How great is that threat right now? Well, I guess every day it hasn't happened. Um, the, we, we're a day closer to it happening. And that's not to suggest, by the way, that uh, we need to put all of our resources into protecting against a cybersecurity event. Uh, they're inevitably happening on a daily basis uh, against individuals and businesses and governments. I guess the point I was trying to make in that statement, and I still say it in speeches today, and I always have to say that Again, there are a range of other threats that are potentially catastrophic to, to our existence. But as we rely more and more upon computers, uh, as we stitch more of our lives and our economy and our society into technology, then when that technology fails because of a threat actor, whether it's a nation state or a criminal, then it will have catastrophic consequences for us. People will die, there's no doubt. Uh, people will, economies will tip um, and, and in the most extreme society would be, you know, pretty catastrophically affected. So when you say people will die, how are you making that link? So if it's things like someone stopping a hospital system functioning at scale so that you can't treat patients who are traditionally going to a casualty or if someone turns off power or water uh, and people that rely upon those things, and that's pretty much all of us, um, can't get access to, to power and water, then inevitably people will die through that process. It sounds extreme, uh, and I'm not a peddler of doom. In fact, I'm pretty glass half full about uh, how we can prepare ourselves as a society, but it does mean we need to pay attention to it. Is there anything specific that makes Australia an attractive target for cyber criminals? Uh, the reality is um, Australia is good eating for these criminal groups. Uh, and while they can make money, they will con and, and the cost to them is low, if any, they'll continue to do it. I mean, they're not stupid. Criminals are extremely rational creatures. Our job as a society is to make it harder for criminals to get their way. Um, on a daily basis and harder for nation states that want to do us harm on so, a daily basis. The only question I ask myself is, are we stretching and growing as fast as the threat? Uh, I often refer to it as, you know, are we we're chasing a curve and are we catching it? The answer is no, but at least we're moving. And that gives me hope. If we move and if we keep trying, we'll close that gap in time. What more can we do to meet that? Well, it's about consequences. I really do think there's more law enforcement can do, and I'm not being critical of them. I, I came from a law enforcement agency. I was involved in the early stages of cybercrime investigations. It's very hard for police agencies, but they need to recognise that this high volume crime that largely comes from offshore is a matter that has to be investigated. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.